Uh, the Dunfermline fans have enjoyed four games unbeaten, which has uh, really dragged their side back into contention again for that third spot, and uh, it's where Dunfermline feel they should be. Still awaiting the appearance of uh, Rangers in the tunnel, and of course, it's the first time either of the old firm pair have set foot on Dunfermline's synthetic surface. When Celtic were here on the first day of the season, they played on grass and uh, dropped their only league points of the season. Rangers are hoping they don't slip up on the artificial pitch. <laughs> 12 wins, 2 draws and a defeat in 15 league games. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? A record for Rangers this season. It's only when you compare it to Celtic's almost flawless performance in the championship games that it starts to look anything like ordinary. That's why Rangers are again 8 points adrift at the top and looking to claw some of those back. Stefan Kloss leads Rangers out. His impeccable record as Rangers keeper was impaired ever so slightly in midweek with uh, a misjudgment of a long-range effort against the Greek team at Ibrox. And he was the first to hold his hand up and say, yep, that was my fault. Craig Brewster. More than 650 appearances at first-team football level since making his Scottish League debut in 1985 for Forfar, and in that time nearly 200 goals as well. And he's still going strong. Out of contract though at the end of the season, a decision for Dunfermline to make about him and about others. And with Derek Stilly now. Jake, let's talk footwear, let's talk Michael Moles. How do the players cope with the surface? Yeah, I was talking to some of the Rangers players before kick-off. Michael Moles is actually wearing training shoes, like uh, an Asseter boots with the bimbled soles to get more of a grip on it. Some of the players have gone for studied boots, but I know, having con had a conversation with Sean Arvaladze, who's on the bench today, he feels he doesn't fancy this one, but he doesn't like the quality of part, and he referred to training uh, matches Rangers played this summer, uh, last uh, winter break actually in America and a much better quarter surface there. Stevie Crawford scores for Dunfermline. Four minutes in. It's the old one two. Crawford and Brewster up front for Dunfermline. Brewster flicked it on. Crawford flicked it past Stefan Kloss. Eleven goals for the season for Stevie Crawford. One nil Dunfermline. As I said at the top of the programme, best two uh, striking partners out with the old firm, the SPL, I think. It's a fantastic flip from uh, Big Brewster on onto Stevie Crawford. A great composure from Stevie Crawford, just left over Stephen Cross. That is a wonderful goal. finish great from finish. Stevie Crawford. He's been shunted of late by Bertie Volk, so it looks as if he's slipping out of favour in terms of the international reckoning. But at club level, he's been doing it for a long, long time. That's nearing 70 goals now in total for Dunfermline. It's 11 for the season. And when the chance made itself apparent, there was little doubt that Crawford was going to tuck it home. What a start for the home team. Four minutes in, they have the lead. Nicholson with the free kick. And it almost fell for Stevie Crawford. It's an own goal! Slips slightly there as well, Stefan Kloss. 2 0 Dunfermline. I see how much it means to Jimmy Calderwood. Seven minutes from time. It's been but, a difficult uh, week for Alec McLeish. What a way to settle it though, Dunfermline, if indeed they are to hold out for victory. It should have been a penalty, it wasn't. Paolo Vanoli, having escaped with the concession of the penalty, proceeded to tuck the ball past Stefan Kloss. Yeah, bizarre to say the least. He could have looked up here. 30 seconds left. 30, se 30 seconds between 
Dunfermline and an historic victory. And you can't say they haven't deserved it. They've coped with what Rangers have thrown at them in the second half. They've played with a lot of poise, a lot of purpose. They've known exactly what they were doing here today. And they've carried out their manager's instructions to the letter. Yeah, without doubt, they've been, their game plan is excellent. They probably deserve the victory today, Rob. Dunfermline have beaten Rangers for the first time in the league in 31 years. Paolo Vanoli's own goal sealed it. Seven minutes from time, Stevie Crawford had got Dunfermline going four minutes in. Jimmy Calderwood can feel highly satisfied with that performance from his team. They move to within three points of Hearts in third place. Rangers are eight points behind Celtic. Derek Stilley played a big part in goals. He was very professional in everything he did, but it was a glorious team performance, really, from Dunfermline. They defended well. Scott Wilson was a standout. Andy Todd alongside him as well. They were strong at the back. They kept possession in midfield. They were creative as well. And that old one-two up front, the old partnership of Crawford and Brewster was working as well as it normally does.